Hello, this is Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV in Greenfield, Indiana. We're just east of Indianapolis for those of you looking for us. Um, today we're going to take a look at a Newmar Canyon Star. This is a 3953 model. This is a 2018 model. And this video is actually being done by special request. So all of a sudden I'm the Casey Kasem of RV videos. The way he talks, Jer. And he's always talking about his good buddy Scoob, his old friend, his old pal, his old dear, dear buddy. People are writing in and uh, uh, asking for videos. And that's great. If I have it in stock, I'll gladly do a video for you. Okay, first, I want to show you what the RV looks like with the slide rooms in. Uh, people, we started this a while back and people really appreciate that. Uh, never really occurred to me before that to uh, do this, but it is an important part of it because this is what you're going to have traveling down the road. Um, we'll start right up here. We have a nice walkway right in between the end of this cabinet and this chair. This chair is a fixed chair. I mean, it will swivel, but it's it's not just sitting there. It is, it is bolted down. We have a large hide-to-bed sofa here. With the computer buffet that we have here, um, look at the space this gives us with this table in. I have a really nice walkway. I could prep anything here in the kitchen. I could even get to the dishwasher. Obviously, refrigerator, that's an important part. I can get into all of there and freezer. Pantry is also very easy. I can get to the bed and lay on the bed, um, stretch out on the bed. You can't really walk around the foot of the bed and you can't get to the rear bath without going up and over. That's why we put in a half bath right here. And obviously that's very accessible for restroom use going down the road. So that's this RV with the slide rooms in. Let's take a look at this RV with the slide rooms out. Okay, we're back. Well, now the 3953 is all opened up. It's gorgeous. Uh, let's walk around and uh, show you why you should buy this motorhome. First of all, up front here, um, we're built on a Ford chassis, but there are different Ford chassis. Sometimes people get the impression that, well, all the gas motorhomes are built on Fords today, um, so they're all the same. That is actually not true. As you go up the line, there's different weight grades of chassis. So you could have a Ford chassis that's rated at, rated at 16,000 pounds as a gross vehicle weight rating. You could have one like this one that's rated at 26,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating. Gross vehicle weight rating is what the axles and the chassis and the tires will carry. So obviously the heavier it is, the less you have to worry about things like um, how much you can take with you, how much water you have on board, cargo, that type of thing. Manufacturers historically will try to cheat you on this because they know most customers don't look for it and that, that's an unfortunate thing. Um, so we're going to tell you about it up front. Tell you this is the heaviest duty gas chassis that's uh, ever been made and um, it, when you want to load up your water tanks and you want to take your cargo with you, you're going to have plenty of room to do so. Also, just because they both have the V10 engine and the, trans, and the, and the uh, six speed transmission in them, doesn't mean that the rest of the chassis is the same. As you, your lighter duty chassis do not have a front sway bar, your rear one, your, your bigger chassis, including this one, do. Um, so, so that's obviously very important you get different tire sizes. Your smaller chassis will be on 19 and a half. This is on diesel tires. These are 22 and a half inch uh, wheels. Um, nice, nice big footprint. Gives you a nice soft ride. Uh, also, a heavier, the heavier a coach is, the better it rides. So this is as close to a diesel ride as you're going to get without getting a diesel. So through the, throughout this video, I'm going to try to be showing you things to show you why you should consider stepping up to a Canyon Star over lesser expensive models. We all know there's less expensive models out there than a Canyon Star. This coach has an MSRP just over $200,000. Now, obviously, we'll work you a nice sale price on that, but understand it does have an MSRP of, of just over $200,000. What are you getting for that over a $120,000, $130,000, $140,000 coach? That's what we're going to be talking about. Well, first and foremost, what you're going to get is the Newmar construction. Newmar has one build level throughout their entire building. They're all built in one building. First of all, whether it's a $130,000 base star sport or it's a million dollar King Air, the same technicians build it on the same line right next to one another. So they, they, they stage these in no particular order. They're staged in the order that they, they come into the building, um, that, that the orders come into Newmar. So you could have a base star next to a million dollar King Air, next to a $450,000 Dutch star, next to a you know Mountain Air, whatever. 
going down the line and those same technicians build every coach and from a standpoint of the construction of the coach the box itself it's all built the same we're 16 inch on center there's not another gas manufacturer there's not another gas coach out there built like that 16 inch on center studs all the way around floor walls and ceiling or in some cases the studs are even closer than that if it's near a slide room or a door or someplace where they need some extra reinforcement they are the thickest walls the thickest floor uh, the thickest roof in the industry with the most amount of insulation these walls have two layers of insulation in them again you're not going to hear that from anybody else there's the hung bat style insulation that is behind the fiberglass and then there's the white foam that everybody uses that's on the on the inside and instead of the walls being this thick the walls are this thick you know when you're looking at motorhomes open the door and stick a finger on the inside and a finger on the outside i call it the caliper test and and, and see how thick those walls are this isn't salesmanship these are facts so do this homework for yourself other things when people laminate walls a lot of the manufacturers out there and some shockingly large names that you know out there in the RV industry they don't even frame around their windows or, or, or around their openings where the water heater goes or something along those lines they simply they, they take that laminated wall that's just fiberglass and foam with an occasional aluminum stud and I do mean occasional um, and they route out a place for it in the fiberglass and foam they stick that window in and they clamp it together well, that'll hold for a while, but if it's just fiberglass and foam, obviously eventually that's going to compress, and that's not a good scenario. Um, once that compresses, that's going to open yourself up to wind noise at the very least, and potentially a leak as well. Now, every Numar window, every opening they put in their coach, they completely aluminum perimeter frame, even the corners, even those radius corners that you see um, on the outside, those are completely aluminum framed around. So 16 inch on center, every opening is aluminum framed around. So when they clamp that window in there, it's a solid clamp that's a forever clamp, not a, a clamp that just lasts till the warranty period runs out. So just some things on, for, that's the box portion of, of why you should uh, buy a Numar. Let's go over some of the specifics on this coach. We'll take a look up front. Obviously we have beautiful flex steel seating. I'm gonna get out of the way a little bit, let Tony get up there and get some good uh, video. All of our HVAC controls are in the middle. Um, we have backup camera with nav built in there in the center console. To our left over here, you're going to see the leveling jacks and two cup holders, two separate cup holders there. Power and heated mirrors. I know that seems crazy to point that out, but you would be stunned how many motorhomes are built without power and heated mirrors. So if you switch drivers and you're a different height or just have different preferences, you have to get out and manually adjust your mirrors. Doesn't that sound like fun? You see all of your uh, gauge cluster there and the Ford steering wheel. It's very should be very familiar to anybody that's owned a Ford in the last 20 years. Um, you know, every, everything is right there on the steering wheel and, and where it should be. These seats do, of course, rotate around, uh, and, and you would expect that, but um, adjustable arms, again, not something very many motorhomes have. These are very comfortable seats. Flex Steel, like any other company, has many different levels of build quality. This is way up the line from a lot of uh, what you see out there. We do have a table here as well for the passenger uh, that pulls out. Think about putting your laptop or your tablet on there or working the crossword puzzle or whatever your little hobbies are. We have USB and 110 volt plug and a 12 volt plug all down here. That may be tough to get in the shot, but they're right next to the passenger. So anything you want to charge, um, plug in, what have you, you can, you can do that. Now, the step cover here is a little lower than most. And with the thicker wall, thicker floor, thicker roof, more insulation, one thing you get is a much quieter coach. You can certainly hear a gas coach. You know, that's the advantage of diesels is the engine's all the way back and you don't hear it. But not everybody wants to spend 70, 80, 100 grand more to, to get that diesel when you can get uh, most of the features here. You will hear this engine, but it's not loud. It's very, I wouldn't have to talk any louder than I am right now to talk over it. Certainly when it's climbing mountains, and it will climb mountains, you, you will hear it a little bit more as it downshifts, but again, you're not yelling over it. The original versions of the V10 engine were, were much louder than what the, what the current versions are. This chair is a uh, uh, nice swivel recliner, uh, or swivel chair, it is a swivel recliner, I, I said it right the first time, so swivel recliner with a seat belt in it. Because the chair is bolted down, that is actually a seat belt, and you have three seat belts under the height of bed also. Let's go into some of our storage. Up top here, 
this, there's a lot of axle storage in here, but you have your Blu-ray player up here and some of your audio video equipment uh, there. If you had a satellite uh, dish and a satellite receiver, that would go in here. A little bit of storage up above the passenger. We have JBL speakers in here, which sound awesome. Most RVs use a uh, as cheap a sound system as they can get away with, um, and it shows in the sound quality. Uh, more storage up here. Our thermostat, which is dual control for both air conditioners and the furnace, uh, is right here on the wall where it's easily reached. All right, let's go to our control center right above the door. This is where you have all things um, for Numar control right here. Now, over here, this is our power control. This tells us how many amps and everything are coming into the coach. Um, obviously, you can see we're running on generator right now, and that's, well, that'll talk to Numar's build quality a little bit. You probably can't hear the generator in the uh, uh, audio at all, because I honestly, standing here, I can barely hear it, but I have both air conditioners and the generator running on this coach right now, so um, it's very, very quiet. This energy control system will keep you, for, if you're plugged into a 50 amp service or even a 30 amp service, it'll keep you under whatever your threshold is there so that you're not always popping the breaker out at the post. Nice feature there. Of course, you have a power awning on here. This has an in-motion satellite dish built into it, so all you have to do is sign up for direct TV or dish network. This does have a small inverter in it as well. This is what we call an entertainment inverter. The inverter takes 12 volt DC current, 12 volt battery current, and turns it into 110 volt AC current. Um, so that's for use of your entertainment systems while you're going down the road. You don't even necessarily have to be running the generator going down the road, although like today in Indy, it's, it's 95 degrees outside. You're gonna be running the generator going down the road in that instance. Here's our slide room controls for our front two slides our disconnect for when we want to put the coach to sleep when we're not using it, our step control for if we want the step to open and close every time we open the door or if we just want it to stay out, your choice. The gas and electric water heater, so it gives you the option if you're on a 50 amp service to, to actually use the campground's electric instead of using your propane. That's nice. And then our tank level system here. I love this tank level system because it's done in percentages. Uh, percentages are better than one third full, two thirds full, what have you. Um, if, if your tank reads three quarters full, are you 76% full or you're 96% full? In truth, you don't know on, on one of those old school gauges. You just know that you're somewhere north of, of three quarters full. Um, this is gonna break it down a lot easier for you and it's easy to see, easy to get to. Our fantastic fan in the ceiling here in the kitchen is thermostatically controlled by this little guy right here on the wall. Um, <laughs> not everybody can reach this. I mean, I'm 5'9", I'm 5'10". I would have trouble reaching that fantastic fan. So you can open and close the vent and turn it on and off and set it to a particular temperature right there. All right, hide a bed. This is a real hide a bed. Um, now they've changed these a little bit um, in that on these longer sofas, traditionally on a hide a bed, when you opened it, okay, um, you opened it and you slept this way. On this hide a bed, it's a long sofa, so you still sleep this way, but it opens like a traditional hide a bed. And if we open up above here, we're going to see lots of storage. We have outlets at either end of the sofa. Um, all of our windows have the um, MCD style shades here. Now, what an MCD style shade is, are these pull down roller shades. And here's a good example of both. Right here we have um, this, the daytime shade, which you can still kind of see out, but nobody can really see in. At night, when you lit it up in here, they would be able to see in. So you do have on all of these windows, the blackout shade as well. You can pull down whichever one you want. All right, take a get a shot of the floor, Tony, because it's actually a gorgeous uh, floor in this coach. We do have the computer buffet, which the computer buffet comes with two uh, fixed and, and two folding chairs, and then this pulls out. So once you, if you want, if you do have guests, you can pull this out, get your two folding chairs out, and enjoy them there. Um, when you're going down the road or if it's just two of you, uh, you can push that back and open this up like a gymnasium. Nice quarry on top on both the table and the buffet and then there's that little circle back there in the corner. That little circle in the corner is where we run our cords down through to our printer. Down below here, okay, we have a pull out computer tray. We have a shelf down here where we can put said printer. 
All right, I'm gonna try to get some views of the storage here, Tony. We're getting our workout in today. Let me cross in front of you and move this chair. Okay. Little drawer here. Another one here. Oops, let's get that another way. And then that's a file drawer. You can, that's set up uh, to put a file hanger in and um, keep your keep your important records. Okay, so that's a little about the computer buffet. Let's go to the kitchen. Everybody wants to see the kitchen story, so here we go. We'll do the uppers first. This is a convection microwave, residential, it's a whirlpool. Note these two upper cabinets here have adjustable shelves in them, so you can raise and lower those to whatever your needs are. Oh, look at that, 50 years in business. Huh, they don't all say that, do they? Beautiful Corian all the way across. Look at our double bowl sink. Stainless, of course, and we'll put these back in. And that is a pull down sink sprayer. Makes life a little easier. An undermount three burner cooktop. And since we already have an oven up above in our convection oven, that opens the door for things like a dishwasher. Check this out. How slick is that? Leads us to our residential refrigerator, Whirlpool. Water on the door, LED lighting inside, pull-out freezer with ice maker down below. And this has the built-in Numar lock on it, so when I'm going down the road, all I have to do is flip that. There we go, and it's locked. All right, Bose sound system in the middle here. Our TV pulls out and swivels any direction you like. We do have a front overhead TV in this also, but this would probably be your main TV. Storage above. Oh, Tony's getting that front TV. I do that to him all the time. Start talking about something that's completely on the other end of the coach. Okay, look at our pantry. This is deep. Now a lot of people wonder what this little door is. I can't tell you. Okay, I can tell you. Um, you can't really see it very well here when the slide is in. You can see, tell what that is a little better. That's the Numar slide locking system. That's a little lock. There's a little tool that locks the slide in place. But that's what's hidden behind the little, little door. All right, right here in the middle. We have a stackable washer dryer. Whirlpool brand again. People love these. For years, um, you know, on high-end gas motorhomes, you, you, if it had a washer dryer, you had that all in one unit. And I don't know, probably 90% of the people hated those. Um, people that have these love these. It was always funny if somebody had had that little all-in-one unit before on their next motorhome, they didn't want it again. So <laughs> I'm going to step out of the shot here. Tony, get a shot of all that storage and everything in there. There's definitely not room for the both of us in the half bath. Your circuit breakers are in that cabinet Tony's filming right now. Circuit breakers and fuses. The rest of it is all storage. Nice medicine cabinet storage above and below. Nice little bathroom. There's actually plenty of room in there for one person. Two, not so much. Come on back. We have a king bed. Take a look at the king bed. It lifts for storage. Hey, look, there's those two folding chairs I was telling you about. Storage above the bed and on either nightstand. There are outlets on both sides of the bed. Those are hard for us to film. They're on the bed base themselves. Trust me, they're there. Wardrobe space here and here. I'm sorry, not wardrobe space, shelving space. Nice TV here. All right, let's check out the bath and a half model. That's what we really want. Here's our wardrobe space. Hanging bar up above, little shelf over here on the right. 
two big drawers down below. Neo angle shower in the corner, as well as a second toilet. We'll show you the medicine cabinet in this one since I can get in here. Outlet, another fantastic fan controlled remotely. Storage below. It's a pretty nice motorhome. One of the things I forgot to mention uh, as far as reasons to buy a Newmar is this little sticker right here. It's in the front window, front left window of every Newmar product. And what you see on there, there's a nice gentleman by the name of Bruce in this case, but the sticker would be different depending on what model you pick. So Bruce is a service advisor for Canyon Star. Canyon Star only. He doesn't do Bay Star, Bay Star Sport. He doesn't do Ventanas, Dutch Stars, Mountaineers, or any of that stuff. His job, he heads a team that knows the uh, Newmar brand, um, Canyon Star, and Canyon Star only. Um, this number that you see on there, that 1-800 number that's on there, that is a seven days a week, 24 hour hotline to Newmar. It doesn't go to some answer line in Pakistan. It goes to Newmar. Now, obviously these people sleep as well. Um, so if you call them at three o'clock in the morning, it may take them an hour or two to get back to you. But somebody takes that phone home every night. Okay, and that's, that's important to realize. Newmar is a privately owned company. Their owner is a guy that is involved in, Matt Miller is involved in day-to-day -day business in Newmar um, as deep as anyone. And mostly he gives a darn about the customer. That's a lot different than somebody who answers to a board of directors. Um, you know, Newmar can build about 10 units a day. Uh, that's, that's wonderful, but here's the problem. They could sell 20 units a day if they could build them. So what does Newmar do? they build a new building and that's what most companies would do they think um, boy we can up production we can get this going no that's not the building they built before they'll expand production um, they built a new service facility it's a it's a 52 I believe I heard 52 bay service facility that they're building up in Napanee so they can better care for the customers that they already have out there before they'll even consider um, expanding uh, much more on how many units they can build a day so if you can't service your customers uh, you, you probably shouldn't be building any more units than, than what you are so they want to make sure that they can take uh, the best care of uh, all of their existing customers and their current customers before they worry about trying to maximize profits by by building more units a day that says something about a company um, and, and it's it's truly refreshing in this day and age to have a company that thinks that way so that's another reason to buy a new more product all right we've seen the inside let's go take a look at the outside okay folks we're going to do the outside of the 2018 Canyon Star 3953 this is going to be a little quicker than some of my versions on there some of you may be saying thank God okay I hear you but um, it's really, really hot out here, and pretty soon this bald head's gonna start dripping. It ain't gonna be pretty, so let's get this done. Up front, we do have the flagpole holder. This comes with the little metal sleeve that drops right down in there. Use, display, whatever flag you want. We already talked about the V10 engine. Of course, you have backup camera, side camera, little things like that, th uh, that uh, DuraShield front mask on here to protect you against bugs and rock chips on the, rock chips on the front. That's over the entire front mask. It's around the door here, so when you come up here and you're slinging that big thing of keys around, you're not gonna scratch your coach. Uh, so it's right here on the grab handle, so that big diamond ring isn't gonna mar up your coach. So those are nice little features that they put in there. Beautiful masterpiece finish as always. We talked about 22 and a half inch wheels, not those little dinky 19s. Aluminium wheels as well, not the steel ones with the hubcaps on them. Those are actual aluminum wheels. Hey, they look better, they cool better. What's not to love about aluminum wheels? Take a look at the storage in there. That is all covered in the Ozite. These are aluminum doors. There are lights in these compartments. There we go. Moving on back. Numar flush mount slides. Instead of having slides that have that big piece of plastic out there that just catches wind and or water, their slides actually recess back into the wall. Fits a lot better. Everybody's happy. Now, you might say, boy, there's not much storage in there. And you're right, but it's good to see a couple things in here. First of all, that is your fresh water tank and it is protected by the Ozite. So if you can store some things in here. Second of all, on the right hand side there, you see that little valve? That's how you drain your fresh water valve. I have literally seen coaches that you have to crawl underneath the coach to access the fresh water valve. So nice setup there. 
three entry steps on here, three um, as opposed to two. That makes that first step nice and low. When it's nice and low, it's so much easier to get into. Let's face it, as we get older, this isn't easier. Um, you know, our knees don't work as well. Um, sometimes our backs don't work as well. Having a nice low entry step makes life just that much easier. I was gonna show you that, but there's a TV and a Bose in there and this is amateur hour. I forgot to unlock it. We'll come back to it. Take a look at some of our storage. That's one big compartment in here. Again, it is a lit compartment. Again, it's completely covered in the Ozite, but if you had a long item, I'm thinking golf clubs, um, you could squeeze those in there. Even though none of those compartments are, are big enough in and of themselves, you can angle them in there. Open this compartment right here. You can see up top we have a tank that's either a gray or a black tank, but we also have more storage in here. Those are slide room controllers, electronics for your slides, and there is the wind sensor for the awning is in there as well, and that is adjustable. Stepping back to the back here, we have a completely carpeted storage compartment in here. You can kind of see as well, get a shot of that um, slide mechanism that's up in there. Um, you kind of get to see, Newmar doesn't use a Schwinn Tech slide system or, or something that they depend on another manufacturer to supply for them. That's something they design and it's very, very robust. Their slide rooms are slow, but they're reliable. Uh, they're driven out by these big cog wheels. These cog wheels are cast iron. They're like this big and they have little nubs on them that drive it in and out. They're like the end of my finger. You're not going to shear it. It's not going to skip a tooth. It's, it's a very, very robust system. That's a big pass-through spot. So again, long items, boat oars, fishing poles, that type of thing, that's where you would store them. There's your other holding tank. All of your holding tanks are contained within, so they're not um, out there exposed to the elements. We do have a 5,000 uh, pound hitch on here for towing. Beautiful rear cap. Notice this has that kind of diesel pusher look to it. These are nice mirrored. It looks like a diesel pusher going down the road. That's the look a lot of people like, so that's what it has, that one piece molded cap. No seams or anything to uh, have any leaks or anything like that. Moving around. The generator's still running. Now, I'm sure you can hear it now because it's five feet from me, but it's still very, very quiet. There's your 50 amp shore power cord, and there is the dump for your rear bathroom, for your rear black tank. This does have a built-in surge protector in the coach as well. There's your hookup in there for hooking up to a campground cable also. Well, there's that generator we've been talking about. One of the reasons it's so quiet is this is the Onan 7K. When you go to a little bigger generator, it runs at a little slower RPM, therefore making the uh, generator just a little bit quieter. So even standing right here next to it, um, it's not like standing next to a running lawnmower. Nice storage spot above. More storage here, and again, that's a pass-through. Here's our fuel fill. This is where we store our sewer hose. Moving forward. At least we're on the shadow side of the coach. It's not quite as, quite as hot over here. Here's our wet bay. Now in our wet bay, we're gonna find our um, black tank flushes. Um, there, there are two of them in here. You'll see our fresh water uh, fill and our city connection are in here. We also have a whole house water filtration system, hot and cold water for an outside shower. And then in this compartment, you're gonna see another termination point for a black tank. That's black and gray there. So we have two of those, and sometimes people say, well, geez, I, 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 why do I have to do it that way? Well, you have two bathrooms in this coach. This is um, a bath and a half unit, so uh, in certain coaches, they sit high enough off the ground that we can plumb that all together. In this coach, that wasn't really a possibility. So what the owner of this coach should do is get them a sewer hose that has a Y adapter on it. You hook it on both of them, they come together in the middle, and then one termination point. So you don't have to move every time you want to dump both tanks. You just get a, a, a you're going to have to probably spend an extra 50 to 100 bucks on a sewer hose that, that lets you put a Y adapter together um, so you have one termination point. So hope that makes sense to you. If not, call me. There's our um, siphon hose for winterizing this coach. 
There's our dirt devil for the central vac I forgot to mention on the inside. More storage and then batteries on a pull-out tray. This has one, two, three, four batteries on a pull-out tray. You don't see gas coaches with pull-out trays very often. That's a rarity. And we have a propane tank. All right, so that's going to about wrap it up on our 2018 Canyon Star 3953. I hope you liked it. Actually, I've got one more thing to do. We're going to cut for just a second. I'm going to go find the keys. Open that TV door because so, I forgot to show you the TV and I can't have it be that much of an amateur hour. We'll be right back. TV take two. There we go, works so much better. All right, so we have our Sony TV out here. This is on a swivel arm. You can direct it either direction there, whatever, whatever you like there. We do have an outdoor radio receiver out here as well, a place to plug in anything USB. So this is Bluetooth capable also. So if you wanna plug in your little phone to charge right here, have it Bluetoothing whatever tunes you like over to this guy, it'll play through these speakers or on your outside TV, you can watch whatever you want out here. It is tied to your front TV. So there you go. I hope that uh, answered all of your questions, but if not, you can type them in and we'll get to you. You can call me at this phone number right here and we look forward to seeing you. Don't forget to ask for me, please. My name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV. Thanks for watching.